Hello friends, I know it's becoming ridiculous at this point, but this is my third <laughs> my third reshade tutorial, but this time I'm super excited because thanks to the help of Crassius from the official reshade server, we've managed to solve the problem with um, anti-aliasing blocking all of the 3D effects in photo mode, so this is like a fixed version. This is the one, you know? Hopefully this is going to be the last tutorial in a while because I don't want to be making any more of these. Before we get into it though, um, I won't be helping anyone in the comments under this video or if someone DMs me privately just because there are way too many people who ask for help and I get really swarmed and overwhelmed. So just, uh, if you need help, please join Star Stable Photography Center on Discord and we will try to help you there. We have a bunch of help chats and reshade news and everything so you can keep up to date and maybe you'll even find the answer to your question there. So join the server, get some help if you need it. Otherwise, let's just get on with the video. This time we're going to be downloading straight from the um, Reshade website, so reshade.me. I'll have that linked in the description. This is the official Reshade page and we're going to be clicking download to be brought to the latest version, which as of right now is this one. Just click download and download it to your computer and place the setup file anywhere you want. I recommend putting it on your desktop. Then go ahead and double click on your little reshade icon and you'll see a list of games here. Unfortunately, Star Stable is not one that the application can detect automatically. So we'll click browse and then go to this file path. Go to Windows C on your main PC and click program files edx. Find the Star Stable online folder and then the client folder. And there you'll find the application SSO client. So select that one and click open. You'll see your file path here and then click next. Star Stable uses the OpenGL rendering API, so just make sure you have that one selected and then click next. I find it easiest to just click next on this step and then you'll find um, your main like effect packages or the default effect packages. So I select check all and click next and then let it download. This is all basically the same thing as when you've downloaded 4.3 and 4.9, which was my first tutorial. Um, it basically just looks a little bit different, but it's the same principle. So unless this is your first time installing or your first time watching my videos, you'll know what to do by now. <laughs> just click finish when you're done, and now it's time to start up the game. All right, let's go. If you manage to install everything correctly to the right folders, you'll have this little bar at the top here uh, that'll say reshade is now installed successfully. And as you can see, the startup key to open the reshade overlay is your home button. If you don't have a home button because you have a smaller keyboard, um, just look up uh, what the home button substitute on your type of keyboard is. Just a quick Google and you'll find it. So now we're in the game, now we get reshade installed, and now we'll click home to open the overlay. I suggest watching this tutorial uh, if you haven't used Reshade before or even if you have reused Reshade before because it can be good to brush up on these things. Now you can either um, mess around with the effects and select the ones you want to create your own presets just like you would in any other version or you can select this little drop down menu and find the presets you want. So I just selected my my normal basic uh, preset which was included in the uh, in my New Year's preset pack and this is how far you could get with any other, other version but as soon as you open photo mode, they would go away, right? This has been the problem since January 19th uh, when this update was rolled out. So what happens is basically anti-aliasing turns on when you enter photo mode, which prevents the 3D effects or the 3D mapping effects from basically sensing the depth of the game because it all flattens out into a 2D image. But there's a workaround in Reshade version five, so that's what we're gonna do now. Go into your add-ons tab and you'll see a bunch of the little um, check boxes. What you'll do is check off this box here that says copy depth buffer before clear operations. And you'll see now you have all the effects is actually mapping the game. However, everything's flipped upside down, right? Fear not, <laughs> this can be fixed. Go back to your home tab with all of the effects and then click this button, edit global preprocessor definitions. And then this value here, depth input is upside down. Just change that one to one and then click out of this box it'll reload and voila it works isn't that wonderful i've been geeking about this all morning i literally got the solution like half an hour ago and i've been geeking about it ever since so here we go however be aware when you exit photo mode now everything's going to be flipped upside down what you can do you can do two things either just open reshade again and change it back it just requires a little bit of going back and forth but it works you know you'll have to adjust um when you go in and out of photo mode but if you have a stronger computer, you can also just do this. 
open your settings and turn on your reflections because this does the same thing remember that previously you haven't been able to have anti-aliasing or your reflections on because it has prevented the game from detecting any 3d mapping but after you change your depth buffer and after you flip your screen it'll be all normal so basically if you have a stronger computer I suggest keeping your reflections on because it means you don't have to go back and forth and change this value, but reflections are quite heavy in the game, so you might notice a bit of lag. So if you have a weaker computer, I suggest just flipping the, the preprocessor back and forth. I'm just really excited that we're actually able to use it, finally. I'm so happy. It gives you so much creative freedom over the game, and I'm so happy about this. So um, thank you once again to Crassius for helping me and being patient with me. Enjoy, have fun, no more of that buggy 4.3 version that even prevented some people from starting the game at all. I'm so excited about this. Thank you once again <laughs> to Crassius for helping me. I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And here you go, everyone. We don't have to wait for a fix for this bug that might not ever come. I'll see you guys in the server and in the next video. Bye-bye.